so hard not to allow what is going on in the media to affect my mood. Because ever since I was a little girl, my parents told me, don't cry, everything will be okay, or be happy, being mad will get you nowhere. Hear me clearly when I say it is okay to be mad. Yes, ma'am. It is okay to be mad that a man was murdered by police in cold blood, on camera, in broad daylight, and he got to go home to his family in the same night. It is okay to be mad that we've been screaming for centuries that black people are being abused and oppressed by the government, and we've been ignored. It is okay to be mad that for weeks white supremacists protested in front of hospitals and government buildings with AK-47s and AR-15s and they were good people. Yet, peaceful protesters for this movement were met with tear gas, rubber bullets, and the military. It is okay to be mad that the African-American incarceration rate is five times the incarceration rate of white people. It is okay to be mad that one in four black women will be sexually assaulted before the age of 18. It is okay to be mad that two it is two to six times more likely for a black woman to die during childbirth than a white woman. Come on. It is okay to be mad that in this community, four black boys were held at gunpoint by a white lady. It is okay to be mad that people look at brown skin as a weapon and as a threat. It is okay to be mad that we have to teach our children at ages three to four that people will hate the brown that they walk on because of the color of their skin. Yeah. It is okay to be mad that we have to teach our black men how to not look so threatened. Yes, Lord. It is okay to be mad that it's 2020 and we're still fighting this same fight today. Yes. It is okay to be mad about George Downey Jr., Ollie Sterling, Trayvon Martin, Freddie Gray, Tanisha Anderson, Breonna Taylor, Deontay Farrell, Ayanna Dior, Tatiana Jefferson, George Floyd, and all the many others who were taken too soon. It is okay to be mad. Yes. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah.